Hey there, my friends. It's Jen Pitta with By the Shore Stamping. It's been a little while since I've done a Teach Me Tuesday video. Sorry for the unintentional break, but I'm back and I wanted to share um, some quick little projects for you that actually come right out of the catalog. Um, and I just wanted to point something out to you too because you may not have noticed, but if you look in the 2018 holiday catalog from Stampin' Up, you'll notice that there's these little pages that have the you can make it. And if you look under here, it says making Christmas bright cards and it has an item number and a total. And what that is, is it's a, it's a I want it all <laughs> item number where you can order everything with one item code to make those cards. So you'll see, and let me put, let me do it this way, I'll show you. So you get with this bundle or with that item number, you would get the making Christmas bright stamp set clear block D, the all is bright cardstock um, pack which includes the real red shaded spruce and call me clover um, cardstock which is in eight and a half by 11 sheets. I just didn't have any left of the big sheets so I just did that so that's the color combo and you get eight of each color in the eight and a half by 11 size and then you would also get the thick whisper white cardstock so you'd have a, um, a full package of that and then you'd get three ink pads, and one of mine is missing at the moment because it is um, in uh, with a, a friend getting Christmas cards made. But you'd get real red, call me clover, and crushed curry as your ink pads, and then a full package of dimensionals. And that all comes with that one little item code. And so what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to actually make these three cards for you and a plus an additional little um, tag. So let's go ahead and get started and make those um, that those projects. So let's start with the full card. So I already pre-cut my cardstock, and I'll put the measurements in the description of this video so that if you want to recreate them, you'll have the measurements because they don't have that in the catalog, which that would be really nice if we did. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, stamp first the background. So I'm taking the um, just the little... Um, what is that called? Wire for this. And I'm going to use my Call Me Clover. So we're doing Call Me Clover on Call Me Clover. And we're going to go ahead and ink up this and make cute little strings of lights. Very, very simple background technique to do this. All right. And then we're going to take the little light bulb. Oh no, my light bulb is missing. Look at that. Hmm, just the plain one is missing. Of course, because that's the way it goes. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the little star one then. I'll just fill in, because I don't know where that one is to even stop the video to go find it. So, we'll just do this and we'll use the little star one and I'm just gonna go ahead oh and you know what I think I need this first so first we'll do the little block and we'll do the little light bulb part first first so we know where we're going so this way and we're just gonna stamp some cute little light bulbs along here on the string. And then we'll do some more over here. I'm just doing a light tap, tap, tap on the ink pad and then straight down, straight up on the cardstock. And we'll just do a few more down here to fill in. Okay. And now we can go ahead and stamp with our light bulb. And again, this is just going to be background. Oops, and I missed a little bit there, but we're gonna cover that anyway, so I'm not worried about it. We'll just make sure we get it on the rest of them. I seem to have a little stripe through mine. 
Oh, there's a doggy fur in there. <laughs> I've had um, some visiting dogs lately. So I had a little doggy hair stuck in there. But we're going to let it go. And we'll just go ahead and stamp a few more here for the background. And now these will be cut off, but that's okay. If you stamp with me often, you know I recommend quite frequently that you stamp off the page because it just makes it look more like printed paper and more professional. So we'll do that. Okay, so there's the background. So that's going to go like that. Now we'll stamp. Um, this is going to go here. So actually, I should, probably should have done one a little bit higher. Um, let's add one more little strand up here. And then we'll do a couple more little things here. And here. Hopefully we have enough room in there. It's a little tight, but it's all right. And I'm actually going to try and fix this too because it bugs me. So let's go ahead and extend that a little bit so that we have a completed string. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And we'll put that down here. And then this is going to go here. So it gives us the little background. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this flat onto the cardstock. And remember, I'm just copying this right out of the catalog. And I'll have all the measurements right on the bottom. This looks like it's popped a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think this is popped and the white is popped. Now my problem is my white is missing. My white ink, I mean my red ink. So, um, to stamp this greeting is going to be a little bit difficult because I don't have the red ink right now. So I'm trying to decide. Maybe I'll just do the green again. Alright, so we'll do, now we're going to take the Making Christmas, or May Your Christmas Be, and we're going to stamp this in the green. And we'll put that kind of here. Is this the right way? Actually, I think I want it to be this way. May Your Christmas Be. And then we'll grab the bright. And I am using multiple blocks just to make it a little bit faster. But you could do all of this stamping with the um, block that you get in the kit. So you'd have everything you need to finish these cards. And I'm going to do May Your Christmas Be Bright. And we'll do it in the yellow to make it look like it's lit up. And now we're going to go ahead and attach this to here using our dimensionals. So I usually put one in each corner and then one in the middle just because I don't like anything to sag. So we'll take these off. What I love about these you can make it things is that it's really showing you the versatility of the stamp set and that you can do a lot of things with one stamp set. I think because we love all our craft supplies so much, we sometimes think we need, you know, tons of different things and tons of different supplies to make a project, and you really don't. You'll see, we're going to make four different projects. You could make dozens of each um, using just the supplies that come in this little kit, this little bundle of stuff. So, all right. And that's going to be there. So there's card number one. Super simple, super cute. Okay, let's do our note card next. So for our note card, like I said, I cut this at five. I cut the thick whisper white at five by seven, and then I scored at three and a half to make my note card. And then we're going to take the little, um, stamp this out here. I'm not really cleaning my stamps very well here, but I don't want them to get lost like my little light bulb did. So I'm going to do that. 
And now we're going to take this little, actually, was it this one? Yeah, it's this one, I believe. Yeah. We're going to take the little star image and our little block. Let me close up this green ink pad with white sleeves. It's not a good... Not a good uh, thing to have open on my table at the moment. Then we're going to take the, um, oh, and you know, uh, yeah, we're going to take this little yellow pattern and we're just going to stamp that right along the card front. And it's fairly easy to line up because, um, it's a photopolymer stamp set, so it's see-through. So there's not too much difficulty in getting that to go all the way across the page. And if it's not completely straight, it's totally okay. Um, little garlands of light probably would, you know, bend and buckle a little bit here and there. So it's just giving it a little bit of an air of authenticity. Now, obviously, this card, you probably wouldn't want to mass produce a million times because obviously you can see it takes a lot of stamping to get this background. You could just um, reduce the amount of stars you have, like maybe you don't go the full um, length of the card, maybe you just do a couple of strands at the top or a couple of strands at the bottom, but it is a really cute look. So I'm going to go ahead and keep moving. And there we have the background. And then um, we're just going to take a little slice of the Call Me Clover. And I'm going to go ahead and just use scissors to cut a slit in the middle. And then go corner to center and corner to center. Oh, I didn't quite cut far enough on that. And then we'll do the same thing here. Slit in the middle corner to center, corner to center, and we get cute little banner ends. So that can just go down flat. I'll just put a little tape there and we'll put that in the middle. And then the red is going to go here and that one was popped up too. So let's go ahead, put some dimensionals in the corner. I love dimensionals because they just add a little bit of pop, literally, to your card. So it just gives it that finished look. All right, so then we'll stick this in the middle like that. And then we're gonna take the Call Me Clover again. And um, we'll use the Friends sentiment. And another tip, I know I've shared this with you before, but I probably have some newbies here. Um, so when you're using your photopolymer stamps, and, um, any of the stamps, the clear mount stamps as well, you're going to want to make sure you put the image face down on your um, surface and then pick it up with your block rather than putting it on this way because we have a tendency to stretch it out if we do that. So I'm going to stamp around here because it looks like the middle of my ink pad. See how it's a little bit lighter? It's a little bit lighter, so I want to make sure I get equal coverage on this. All right, and then we're going to put Friends Make the season, season Shine. And we'll stamp that in the middle. And then this is going to get popped too, I think. Actually, no, I think I'm going to leave mine flat here. We'll just put a little bit of tape in the middle to make sure it stays put. And we'll put that there. Okay, whoops, it's a little crooked. Let me try that again. All right, that looks better. And there's card number two. All right, and then the last card was a little note card that they did. So I'm gonna take three by six piece of shaded spruce and a two and three quarters by two and three quarters with that um, white. And we're gonna take the little circle image and our, um, and our crushed curry ink. 
pick that up again that way. We're going to kind of stamp this um, a little off to one side here, like that. Now, um, the star image is in red, and I don't have the red ink pad, as I mentioned, because that is with somebody right now. Oh, that looks like my red ink pad. My red ink, my red marker is missing too. Let me see if I have one in here. And I do. So I'm going to use another little trick because I do like the red. So I'm going to just color on my stamp with the red. This is going to be way more time intensive, but um, I'm just making one right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just because I like the pop of red. So you're just going to ink this up each time. What this technique is really good for is when you want different colors on one stamp. Um, you can do it all at once, but it also fills in when you don't have a color, but you have the marker. You can just simply color on your stamp with your marker and that works beautifully. So we're just going to fill in with a few little red stars, maybe one more down here. Eh. I'm going to do one more over here too. Okay, so there's that. Very simple. Then we're just going to do a little bit of a banner end again on this. Whoops. And cut in the middle. Side and side. This is actually going to get taped down flat. So I'll just tape that down in the middle. And then we'll tape this down flat, kind of off to the side here. Like that. And then we just took a um, scrap piece of white and stamped the Making Spirit Sprite with the, uh, what color did we use? We used the green. So we'll use Call Me Clover. This is a really fun technique too that I don't use often enough, but I do, off, I do do it sometimes. Um, but I love stamping a a skinny little sentiment and then cutting those words apart. So you'll just take your scissors and snip whoops, around them and then I trim them down pretty close as they did in the catalog too. So you don't have to be perfect so don't stress. You could trim on your um, trimmer too but I just find it's easier to do it this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim these out. Whoops. And the last one here. Do one here. Like that. And this is where these edges come in really handy. Of course, we have the mini dimensionals now too, but since these are included in your little bundle, we'll just use all the little bits. So I'm just going to take one of these edges and we'll put it on the back here and it will fit perfectly. Oops, and I probably should have started with the one that is at the top, but it's okay. We'll do that and then we'll do this. We'll kind of make it a little bit off. And then the last one. And go down here. Whoops. The right direction is usually best. There you go. And then you have a cute little card. So these are the three right from the catalog. So you can see I put to the, those together really quickly and you could make mul multiples of those. And then I also wanted to just do, um, I had some of this cardstock left that just seemed like the perfect size for a tag. So I'm going to add in my own design using the same supplies again, but we're going to do um, a gift tag because that's something useful this time of year too. All right, let's do, um, I'm going to do the little yellow 
and I'm gonna kind of and I'm totally winging this I did not design this in advance so if it comes out horrible I apologize but this is what I'm seeing in my head at the moment so we're just gonna do that and then I think we'll add a few more stars again because I really liked that of course this is much easier if you have the ink pad which you will if you bought the bundle but um, it works just as well this way I'm just kind of putting one in each of these little circles maybe one over here and one two three four five we need an uneven amount so I'm gonna put one up there and then one down there there we go okay so that works right and then we're gonna put this on here but before we do that let's do a thin little strip here And I'm going to just trim this down. This was just a scrap piece that was on the table. And I'm going to put banner ends in that one too. like that and I'm trying really hard not to use any other supplies but I am going to pull in black just because the Making Spirits Bright will stand out much better on the red if I use black and I should totally be cleaning this I'll use my chamois my chamois is here let's clean off that there we go I love my little simple chamois so then we're going to ink this up and oh, it's really, really close, but I made it. Put that right in the middle. Like that. And maybe I'm going to put it higher, I think, like up here. And I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I can do. I'm going to pop this. So we'll use some of these. Okay. And we'll take this down. Again, very super simple, easy to do, but just showing you all of the different things you can make with just these few supplies. So, and I added in black ink, but you could use the real red probably on there too and do tone on tone. It just wouldn't stand out quite as much, but I think most of us have the black. And then you would just take your hole punch and punch a hole at the top and add some ribbon, which you could use anything you have on hand for that. And there you have a cute little tag too. So there you go. I just thought I would show you some quick and easy little cards. These are super simple, not a lot of extras, but you could make a ton of them. And you could use this design um, with products you have on hand too. Just use one stamp set, a few colors of ink, a few colors of cardstock, and then um, just see what you can do with what you have rather than pulling everything and anything in your, um, in your scrap room because I know sometimes we can get overwhelmed if we have too many things to use. So this is nice and quick and easy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll join me again next week. And if you liked this Teach Me Tuesday video, be sure to subscribe so you'll catch all of the Teach Me Tuesday videos as soon as they post. Have a great week and we'll see you soon.